What's up guys? Back for another one here. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to log, uh, data log your car for your tuner. Uh, specifically, this one's uh, Eurodyne Mastro, but the reason that I am logging, I just recently put in a new high flow fuel line, which I'll link at the end of this video, you can watch that, and an E85 sensor, which is, I mean, it's hooked up, but it's not like running yet. Uh, I still need to ground it onto the uh, valve cover and then run either wiring to my P3 gauge or something else, but um, yeah, this shit's just super simple. Uh, I'll throw the laptop in the car here, we'll hook it up, I'll show you the like five steps it takes to open it up to get to logging. And I'll have my roommate over here that's making faces. He's gonna hold this camera and log for me while we go out for a pool and then maybe I'll do some like drive bys real quick or something. And then when uh, my, my tuner, Frank Mabo, when he gets back to me, uh, he's like super busy right now. He's, he's not, he doesn't live in the United States. So he's visiting California right now and doing a, a bunch of tuning in person versus you know doing it this way. But hopefully he'll get back to me I just want to make sure that the car isn't getting too much fuel uh, since that new line really opened it up and you, you can feel that it it's not lacking anywhere right now the car has never ran any better it I mean it spools hard it holds it 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 kicks ass the only it's not even an issue the only thing I, I don't really like right now is the way launch control set up and it's uh, doing a fuel cut which is you know say I'm doing launch control it's like wah ba 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 I don't like that. I don't want that at all. I want it to be how I used to have it, like a spark cut. With so I'm gonna have him change that and make it user user adjustable, so I can adjust the RPMs rather than he he adjusting the RPMs. So um, hopefully he gets back to me tomorrow. That way I can finish this video tomorrow, being Wednesday, and have this up for you Thursday. But let's get to it. All right. So we're here in the car. I have my cable routed down around under the mat and then it goes up to the module there so we'll plug this baby in Testing. put some power on the car easy peasy so far and we'll get in here go to Eurodyne flash I always open it up as administrator I don't know if it's necessary That scared me. Alright, now that Norton isn't being a pain in my ass, we click here to start. Hit yes. We go to Diagnostics and Dialoging. Get Controller Info. Let me go to Measuring Blocks. Select all, and then it log selected values. Boom, and then this is as easy as it is. You hit start, then you hit stop. And then here's all the live parameters and such. Obviously the car's not on, but there is still some, uh, some readings. But once this uh, actually does the data log, it'll put it into like a, uh, It'll put into like an Excel file. I don't have Excel on my computer, so I read the log. So I, it'll make the log file. You send it to your tuner, whoever that is. But in Gmail, once you send the file, it allows you to open that file you just sent in Google Drive, which will open it up in their version of um, whatever it's called, Excel. So you can sit there and read everything. But everything's in metric. So you know, for me to understand it, I have to do the conversions. Uh, and you can look all that up on Google to to see how it applies to you, but it's pretty pretty freaking simple. So we'll follow the car car up here. I'll grab Jesse. He'll hop in, sit in the passenger seat, and I'll have him record um, us going out and doing a a pool with a log. And then I'll probably kick him out of the car real quick and do at least one flyby for you guys, just for shits and giggles. Hopefully it doesn't start to rain. Amarillo had like tornadoes today and stuff, and I mean everything's going east, but. And we've had like scattered rain every day this week and 
last night we had this huge lightning storm. It was so freaking beautiful. I sat on the on the porch drinking beer, watching that. Out here it's so weird. And back on the East Coast, you know, lightning was always just going, you know, from A to B to the ground. Here you'll see lightning doing like circles in the sky. Like it'll literally make a, like a circle and then it's it's crazy. The lightning out here is ridiculous. I love it. We'll fire this baby up. Should be running out the door here any second. On me. All right, so the way my tuner likes it, we are what? Second gear. What are we doing? Second or third gear? It's supposed to be third. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're in second right now. Then. Yeah. We're doing third gear, 2,000 RPM, which I'm almost at. And then we literally just floor it. He hits start, and then I floor it. And then uh, when I hit get the rev limiter, which I have set at like 6,900. He hit stop, and that's that. So, Jesse, on your, whenever you say go. And go. So I haven't watched the video yet. I don't know how clear or unclear it was, so I apologize if it was not like great. But on the way back towards Jesse, I did launch control or uh, no lift shift for the first time since he enabled it. Now it doesn't make a bunch of noise in between shifts like it did with the other tune, um, which really the way I feel about it, the way the noise was between shifts, it was like you're going from say two to three, like wah bra. Like the, the noise kind of like distracted me from actually paying attention to shifting faster. I feel like, like, I, like just doing it tonight, like I feel like I could just shift a lot faster because I'm not listening or like, I don't have to worry about that noise that was between shifts, but I was paying attention to the boost gauge and it's holding quite a bit of boost between shifts. Like between shifts, I've seen it drop down to like 20 PSI. Whereas without no lift shift, you're, you're going down to probably less than 10, maybe lucky to get five. So, uh, no lift shift on this is definitely tits. It felt good uh, doing that. I did have a slight misfire the other day. I haven't looked over the logs yet, but um, this misfire I have is on cylinder four. And so I pulled my plugs, checked them out. They were all at like 0 0.025 or 0 0.024. So the ones that were at 0.25, I brought them not back down to 0 0.024 um, and then it's still like I felt it once like earlier today and like kind of like like stutter so uh, whatever it's whatever but I ordered RS3 plugs on Sunday they'll be here Friday I've had the same plugs in the car from the factory since what is it I'm at 59 and some change right now so I think it's time for them to be switched out I've heard a lot of people have good results um, I mean, if a coal pack's bad, obviously replacing it with a, a new one is going to be good. I don't think the RS3s, per se, are going to put out more power to the spark plug or anything, but I think it's 60,000 miles, and with all the racing and traveling I've done, and how hot it is out here, and how cold it does get in the winter, and, you know, all that stuff, it's time to change plugs. So, hopefully I'll actually feel a difference when those plugs come in. I'll be making a little video for that and let you guys know what I think, but... Um, now I'll show you guys, it literally you just drag and drop the file into your email. I mean, it's if you've ever sent a picture or a song or anything, it's literally the same thing. But I'll show you how that works real quick and then uh, I'll get back to you hopefully tomorrow night uh, with a new file to upload and we'll go test out the new launch control. So to find out where your log is saved, 
Um, I already have it up here, but we'll go all the way back. Um, so at this main screen, you're gonna go to Windows C, go up to Eurodyne, and then whatever today's date or whatever. So the last one I did was 427, but today's 57. So I'll take this, and over here in my email, you literally just drag, drop the file here, and boom, sent. Now with the old logs, I go back and delete them so you don't get confused and accidentally send the wrong log. Um, and what you can also do, you go here, you go to desktop, create shortcut. That way you're not doing all this. I already have a tuning folder on the desktop. Tuning stuff, right here, boom. I keep all my revisions, uh, for the most part at least. And then uh, data logs, that, that takes you right to the folder we were just in. So. Boom. Easy as pie, simple as cake. I am in love with this monitor. I am in love with Adobe. I don't know if you guys can really even tell the quality difference, but uh, you know, editing with new software is always kind of fun. It gives you something new and exciting to do. You know, I made 233 or 34 videos with iMovie, and now this will be like my third or fourth with uh, Premiere. No, it's definitely been a good time. I do not use it anywhere near its potential. I don't touch any color correction. I don't do anything fancy, but um, like being that, able to have that at my fingertips if I were to want to do that or make like a quick little movie intro type thing, slow moving, panning, and all that fancy stuff, um, this would be the application to really play around with that kind of thing. But I just hope he gets back to us tomorrow. I know he's busy, but... Uh, all right, here we are guys the next day. New tune here. We're gonna download that. Boom, saved. Zoom out. This is gonna go into your downloads folder. Take it from your downloads folder and put it wherever you want. I keep a folder of, dang it, all my files. So I'm gonna drag it, drop it over here. Boom, number eight. Now I'm gonna unhook my laptop and go hook it up to the car and then we'll upload this baby and go for a drive. All right, now to upload a tune is super, super easy. Go back into the Eurodyne Flash. We'll run that as an admin. All right, oh, of course, another update, BRB. All right, now that it's updated, we'll hit here. Click to start. Yes. Right here. Flash my ECU or the Maestro Maestro file. And it's gonna connect to the car, do its thing. Blah blah blah. Mind you the car is on but not running. So get on the desktop. Tuning stuff. Revisions. Click the new one, open. Make sure ignition is on, engine is off. And now it's gonna start. It randomly turns on your stereo and your lights will do things. This only takes like five minutes. So I don't hook the car up to an outside source of power. We can see right now it is 1047 and I'll show you when it's done. You can see the time here, it's been maybe two minutes. Now it tells you, turn off ignition. Ignition is off. Hit the button. Turn ignition on. Testing. System ready. Ignition is on. And you're done. That is it. Now, um, I'm supposed to have this video up in like an hour for you guys. This is same day filming um, last night I wanted to get this done but it was like hellaciously raining and hailing it was pretty rough we literally got off work like 10 minutes before it started to get super bad here in town uh, the weather's been crazy this whole week has been crazy the weird rain tornadoes like every other day like in and around this area um, today's high is like 54 it's supposed to get down to 37 tonight the high tomorrow is like 44 and then it's climbing back up towards the weekend. And Sunday it was like 89. It's so weird with the amount of rain and hail we've been getting and like all the 
tornadoes that's been spotted and stuff around here. It's pretty crazy this time of year. Hopefully we don't get anything near my house, at least, <laughs> tornado-wise. But, um, yeah, it's pretty chilly out, but I'm going to go take the car around the block, make sure everything feels good. I'll pick up the camera at some point, and we'll do a pull. And then uh, that's pretty much all I got. I just want to show you guys how simple this is. If you've ever wondered or was nervous about maybe switching to a pro tune and data logging or oh no that's gonna be difficult this shit is way too easy like I, I was nervous too I was like oh my god I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna mess it up it's pretty much idiot proof it's super easy after you do it the first time you literally like you already got it it's it's muscle memory from there so um, I just want to spread a little information throw a video out there I've had a few people ask about how data logging is and and so on so I figured I'd just make a quick video um, Let's go for a drive. So I, I figured I'd uh, take you guys on a, on a run real quick. This is a second gear pull. See, second gear. And we'll just, uh, uh, I should probably slow down a little bit. This thing like hits so hard. Ready, one, two, three. shift, I should have did it. Dang it. Alright, here we are again. I'm going to test no lift shift, that way I can see how much boost it does actually keep between shifts here. So this is second gear pull. This is not easy doing it with one hand either, so don't mind me. <laughs> Man, this car has never felt so good. Like, I am so happy. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when this turbo finally shows up. Um, <coughs> I'm going to message Ed today and see where the hell it's at. Um, I heard that they were literally just waiting on some oil fittings for the turbos. I don't know. I haven't heard much since then. Um, I'm not even getting my information from him anymore. I'm getting it from another buddy, Mike. I'm sure he'll, he'll come in here. But, um, yeah, the car just feels great. I just need to get... This launch control set a little bit higher. Is it like 35? I'm gonna move it up to like 5,000 and see how I like it there. Um, I haven't really played with it much with the roads being shitty and on a time crunch today. Um, but we'll definitely get more into that. Uh, this weekend, like I said, I might be going down to San Antonio, help a buddy pick up a car. Hopefully that happens. I'd like to make a little video on that. That'd be cool since there's no like actual racing going on this weekend. And even if there was, it would be canceled because it's nothing but rain, sadly. But uh, those RS3 cool packs will be in tomorrow, so we'll definitely touch base on those. Um, I'll let you guys know how, how they feel, if it feels any different. I'm sure they'll feel different, but only just because it's they're, they're new. You know, I'm at like almost 60,000, but uh, yeah, that's all I got. So if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, please, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.